YouTubers. You've reached the Debunkify channel. Alright, this video is going to be one more demonstration of our box running uh, an LED uh, with extra energy. Uh, I try to simplify it down as much as I possibly can. Here is our input voltage. This is negative and this is positive. Okay, on our box, this is our input. This is where we put our input right here. And these two are outputs. Okay, those two are outputs. And I'm going to show you the voltage coming off those. Okay, here in a second. Uh, so I got the negative connected to the negative of uh, the input on, into our box. Uh, the positive, I got it going right through this meter right here to show current going in and through the other side of the meter to the positive of our box. These two are negative and positive outputs. Negative and positive. Okay, and over here we're going to take our positive and we're going to run it through a meter right there. The negative comes out uh, and then through our LEDs as well. And uh, back through this output, and we're going to actually charge this output up to the negative. So we're going to connect this negative together. Let's do that. Uh, let's do that right now. So we're just going to basically. This is uh, our last output that's going to be running everything here, including the LED and the charge. This output right here. Pull that up. Okay, so there we got our negatives connected together. So this is the output. We're going to be looking at that voltage here in a second. It's about 18 volts. And what we're going to be doing is taking this negative and running it through this negative and charging this output up. Out the positive, through the LED light, and then through the meter read that current and then right back to the positive right here and we're going to read the voltage across that as well all right so uh let me uh, set this up uh i just have it the basic setup here with just input and output meters reading the current on the input and output here's a fuller view this is all there is all right let me set this up and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, so what, what's happened here is a capacitor has been added onto our output right here. That's just the negative going right there on the negative and the positive right onto the positive. It's to smooth out the voltage so we get a more truer and more accurate voltage. Uh, reading on our, on our uh, meters which I'm going, I'm going to be reading with uh, this voltmeter right here as well as the input voltage <laughs> um, so the output is right here and we're reading it exactly the same way we're reading our input current you want to read voltage in parallel of course right here on the negative and positive and you want to read current in series so we got it on the positive side right here, in between the positive of the power source and the positive of our input device. So I'm reading, we're reading the same exact output wattage over here, uh, with the capacitor connected across the negative and positive. We get that voltage in parallel, and then we're reading the current in series from the positive side, right here through that meter and also through our LED load and through this output as well we're charging this output and then back to the negative right there okay so uh, let's, let's start this um, I'm gonna have to disconnect this because it doesn't like the light because of the capacitor it takes time to charge and this is a wall adapter so what it does is it blinks all right let's turn this on All right, so here's the light right here. OK, 
Okay. We've got light. We've got 260 milliamps of current going on an input. Okay, and 408 milliamps on the output. So let's uh, let's read our voltage there on the output. This is very hard to do with one hand. So we'll just put that right here. And the negative. Put that right there on the negative. There, now we're reading the output voltage. That's a 18.03 volts at 407 milliamps of current. Okay, now let's uh, take the voltage and read the input voltage. Let's see, this is positive way over here and over here. Drag this over here. It's turning into a mess really quick. But uh, we'll put it right here. Alright, and this is our input voltage of 12.20 volts at 258 milliamps of current. Okay, so something else I would like to show you. If we disconnect this, the show that the output is in no possible way because the output voltage is, is higher than the input voltage. So there's a chance that this voltage can cause a current to flow back to the input. But to show that it's not, I have a diode right here and we're going to put it right there on the positive side. This is the positive side of the diode, so you'll be able to uh, flow through that. Let's see if we just try to hold it on there. Okay, and now look, look, look at this. Okay, see there? Actually, we have to uh, see that capacitor wants to mess up, so mess everything up. So um, let's go ahead. And, uh, That charge up there. Get our light back. Okay. Now, we got light. now, here's our positive on this side. Okay. And we're going to, uh, oh, see, it just doesn't like it. Here, let me uh, put this down real fast. Be back. Okay, so we got the diode on. And if you look, here, let me uh, let's see if I can focus this. Uh, huh. Well, you can't see it very well, but this is the positive. And so the positive, of course, is going through the meter and then through the positive of the diode and then to the positive of our input of our device there. And you see the current's a little bit higher. Well, that's normal because our diode is acting like a load, a, a small little tiny load. Um, the output isn't affected at all. Um, well, just that's the current. That's the input voltage. Okay, and uh, it flows through it just fine. It's just there's a voltage drop across the diode, so you know there's a little bit of resistance in the diode, so our current goes up a little bit. That's normal. Okay, so uh, now if we backwards. Let's try to switch that backwards. Like this. Switch it backwards. Just to show that nothing can flow through it backwards. Oh gosh. Yeah. This is really hard. Hard to do. Well. Okay, so we connect, and there's, there's no light, there's no current, because it's not going to flow through the diode backwards, of course, okay, but if 
to flip it around. See, the positive can go this way, but the higher voltage positive can't come backwards through our diode on the negative side because it'll block it. So, this diode pretty much prevents anything from, uh, let's see, we got our light going. The reason it does that is because the capacitor is trying to charge up. So, and we got this wall adapter, the circuitry in that causes all this. But as you can see, it just flo it flows normally through the, uh, the diode, but not backwards. Here, let's see if we can that charge up for a split second. All right, see, there's the light, okay, and we got our 407 milliamps output current, 282, it's a little bit higher, because it's going through the diode. So there's no possible way, the positive over here is gonna flow backwards to the lower voltage over here, to the diode, because the diode's blocking it on the negative side. So let's forget that diode, we don't need that, let's put this back. Uh, let's let this capacitor charge up. And so, see it's a little bit lower now because we got rid of the diode. So, 258 there. 405 here. 12.20 on the uh, input. 12.19. And we'll take our, uh, oh my gosh. All because of that capacitor. Let's take our uh, let's just do this already. So positive. Let's back positive. So there's no possible way. What is going on in this system right here? Okay. Has nothing to do with the system over here. Okay, see. So uh, it's completely separate. It's a, this is an asymmetrical system in which uh, the lenses law really doesn't apply. I, I believe this is a lenses law violation. Again, what's happening is this output you got the negative charging the negative of this output so the current's coming out and going through this output to keep it charged and then keep, it continues out through the light and through the meter and then up back to the positive all right so uh there's a, there's a little bit to say here um but this is uh is what you're getting uh, on the show I suppose that there's no batteries in our box uh, let's disconnect power let's see that voltage going down I like to bounce back up to, uh, I don't know why let's see the battery isn't going to go from 18 volts down to uh, 2 volts Right. Turn it back on. See the voltage pop back up. Yeah. Oh. 18 volts. 400 milliamps. Disconnect. Turn it back on. I'm just going to go in and disconnect this capacitor. This, that's just to show that it's a true voltage. And it's smoothed out. Pretty much the same thing. 18 volts. Okay, let's look at this current. Let's disconnect. Connect. So, there's no possible way I can be a battery in there. So, that, that's what I wanted to show for today. Um, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Uh, share. 
like, please, uh, leave a comment, see something relevant in here, uh, if you'd like to share, and uh, we'll see you on the next video.